My name is Winnie Pianima. I lead the global response by the United Nations against the HIV epidemic. Winnie Bianyima, welcome to The China Current. How is UNAIDS contributing to the global COVID-19 response, both as a key part of the United Nations and as a leader of civil society? Oh, thank you. We are a part of the United Nations. We are actually a joint program of 11 parts of the United Nations in the fight against HIV. We've been in this for 25 years. We are using everything that we have learned, the entire infrastructure that the whole HIV movement has built over the years to respond to COVID-19, because that's another epidemic. So we're bringing what we know about fighting epidemics. We are on the ground in almost 80 countries that are hit hardest by the HIV epidemic. In those countries, we are part of supporting the governments and civil society to respond to this pandemic. It's important that communities are at the heart of the response, that the battle is won at the community level. We share the labs that have been brought up for HIV testing and treating. We connect them to the communities. We fight for the rights of LGBTI people living with HIV to access their treatments, even as lockdowns are happening. We watch out for the rights of people living with HIV, key populations, to ensure that they are not further victimized, marginalized, and criminalized because of the lockdown measures. Showing what works so that they avoid the mistakes of the past. And at the global level, the same. Putting out the messages about what works non-discrimination, empowerment of communities, uh, value evidence and address your real epidemic and all these things. I mean, COVID-19 has really humbled us as humanity and as individuals. And it's really bringing to the knees the most vulnerable who were vulnerable before this pandemic began. Who do you worry about the most? I worry as always, about those who have the weakest human rights in society. When any problem hits, epidemic, financial crisis, it's them whose rights are first trampled on and it is the strongest who fight for themselves to be served. I worry today about the human rights of people with living with HIV and particularly of the gay communities in many of sex workers, people who inject drugs in those countries where they are criminalized. This is the time when they are treated even less as human beings. I worry about people living with HIV not accessing their medicines because of restrictions on movement, because of actually using the facilities that were worked for them to, to serve another epidemic. It's important that we fight both without losing the battle on one. But I worry also at, at a level of countries, countries like Africa, where they are so highly indebted, some of them are facing debt distress, have no space to invest, no money to invest in preventing this crisis, getting the support they need to be able to respond. You were born in Uganda, you helped shape its modern history. Do you ever worry that COVID-19 is going to reverse the gains made throughout the African region and also in other vulnerable continents like Latin America, as we're now seeing. Yes, it does worry me because look, COVID has devastated, has taken lives, devastated economies, huge impacts, but it's not the only crisis we are facing. We have an inequality crisis that's pushing poor people further and further down and money being captured by a few at the top. All these are challenges worsened by this pandemic. So I do worry that many more people will be left behind and that this crisis will worsen 
existing crisis. But if we take the right lessons, we can come out with a better way of creating a more just and equal society. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.